Good day everyone! Welcome again to Sir Fox Learning Channel. Welcome to my class, General Physics 1. For today's video, pag-aaralan po natin ang units, physical quantities, and measurements. Gano nga ba ka-importante? Or gano nga ba? Or bakit nga ba kailangan po nating alamin? yung mga units ng mga physical quantities and bakit nga ba dapat natin itong or bakit nga ba dapat natin alam yung mga measurements nito in physics syempre we deal uh, we deal physical quantities and that physical physical quantities for us to identify it needs units of measurements. Para po natin maintindihan o nawaan kung ano nga bang mga ito, tumayang po natin o panuorin po ninyo ang video ito. Higit sa lahat, yung ating mga STEM 12 who are taking general physics subject nga po natin ngayon is General Physics 1. Ito po ay subject ng mga STEM 12 na kumukuha ng sub General Physics 1. Our first lesson here is units, physical quantities, and measurements. Kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina, why is it important for us to know the units of measurements? Why is it important for us to know the physical quantities? Ano ba yung mga physical quantities? Anybody? You can comment down in the comment section. Siyempre, nandiyan yung time, nandiyan yung mass, nandiyan yung distance, displacement, force, ano pa ba? Yan yung ilan lang sa mga basic physical quantities na mostly ginagamit sa physics. Okay? And that physical quantity is it needs units of measurements. We cannot, we can, we can, we could not say that a certain value is a physical quantity unless wala siyang unit of measurement. The unit of measurement is very important kasi siya yung nag identify anong klaseng physical quantity ba yan? Is it mass, volume, time or distance, di ba? That's why, in solving problems, we need to always indicate units of measurement. Siyempre, pag sinabi po natin measurement, it refers to the measure of uh, either or a measure of what? Of any physical quantities. It could be Measure of distance, measure of time, measure of mass, or length, or whatever physical quantities. Kaya, for today's video, our learning target is to solve measurements or to solve measurement problems involving conversion of units, expression of measurements in scientific notation. So, do you know how to convert units of measurement? Why do we need to express measurements in scientific notation? Why? Because in physics, we usually deal with very large number or measurements or very small measurements. It's usually yung po yung pinag-uusapan po namin sa physics. Very large measurement or numbers or very small measurements or numbers. Okay? So we will solve measurements, problems, measurements, 
and we will convert units of measurement and we will express measurements in scientific notation. So solve, convert, express in scientific notation. Okay na tayo sa ating learning target? Solve, express, uh, solve, convert, and express in scientific notation. For instance, you are asked how many meters are there in 2 kilometers? How many meters? How many meters are there in 2 kilometers? So, paano mo isusub yan? Ang ginagawa mo agad, kukuha ka ng conversion table, which is wrong. Siyempre, scientifically, kagamit ka ng factor, label, method. So, for you to solve, to know how many meters are there in 2 kilometers, siyempre, kailangan mo ng conversion units of conversion for every the conversion po natin conversion for every one kilometer that is 1000 meters okay for every one kilometer that is 1000 meters so let's convert Gusto mong malaman yung 2 kilometers Ilang meters So gagaya ng sinabi ko Gagamit ko tayo ng factor Labeled method Factor Labeled Method Ano ba yung so, 2 kilometers. Okay, alam ko muna natin. Ito ba ay physical quantity? Physical quantity? Okay, tama. Physical quantity. Anong physical quantity to? Huh? Distance. Okay, distance. Sa physical quantity na to, paano mo nasabi na distance to? Because of the unit measurement. Ano yung unit measurement niya? 2 kilometers. Ah, I mean, kilometer. Yung kanyang unit of measurement. Eh kung wala yung kilometer, masasabi mo ba na distance yan? Hindi. Walang unit measure. Kaya nga, the unit measure indicates of what physical quantity you are dealing with. Okay? So, balik tayo. 2 kilometer. Ayan mo may surface. Sir. Ayan. Disturbance. So, 2 kilometers. How many meters? Factor level method. Times. Nagamitin po natin itong ating conversion units. For every 1 kilometer, you have 1,000 meters. Okay? Pwede na ba dating mahanap yung value ng 2 kilometers to meters? Check po natin. Kapag ganito yung ating problem, ay ating expression, you can cancel kilometers. Pag kinancel ka, huwag mo yan, ibig sabihin, tanggal na. So, what you have to do is to multiply 2 times 1,000 is equal to 2,000. Anong natirang unit? Meters. Divide 1 is 2,000. Now, ang ano natin kanina? Convert unit of measurements or 
So, or express measurements in scientific notation. So, ito po yung ating physical measurement, physical quantity, which is 2,000 meters. Ang 2 kilometers, 2,000 meters. How, we, how paano natin i- express in scientific notation ang 2,000 meters. Naalala niyo pa ba paano mag-express? How to write numbers in scientific notation? You just count the decimal place. So kapag whole number, you will move the decimal place or point from left uh, from right to left. Okay? You will move the decimal point from the right to left. So initially, kapag ka whole number, the decimal point will be found here. So we will move 1, 2, 3. So you, you move 3 times. So to express that, you have now 2 times 10. This is equal to times 10 is our notation. Times 10 is the notation. Okay? Kung ilang beses ka nag-move, that will serve as your exponential point, which is 3. And then, copy the unit measure. Your 2,000 meters is equivalent to 2 times 10 to the power of 3 meters. So, that is 2 kilometers. Okay? So, what if you are asked to convert? What if you are asked to convert uh, 365 days to seconds? O, kaya mo ba yan? How many? O, pwede ko na bang murahin? Sige, murahin na po natin. How many seconds are there in 365 days? 365 days to seconds. Okay, kaong lamang sagot. For you to convert that, syempre, factor level method din. Pero bago yan, alamin ulit natin. Anong physical quantity itong 365 days? Ha? Time! Tama? Time. Ano yung unit measure niya? Paano mo nasabing time yan? Because of this day or time or period. 365 days. So dahil sa unit measure na to, kaya na, na identify mo na itong physical quantity ay time. Okay? Kaya sabi ko sa iyo, hindi pwedeng walang unit measure. Napaka-importante lagi. Kung baga sa tao, the unit measure is the surname. The surname para malaman mo na kamag-anak mo pala ito. Ito yung pinaka-surname niya. <coughs> Okay? Ang kanyang unit measure is days. Now, let's convert 365 days to seconds. So, 365 days times. Ano yung mga conversion factors na pwede po natin gamitin dyan? Sige, ito yung mga conversion factors na pwede natin gamitin dyan. Factors. Okay? One day. How many hours? 24 hours. Siyempre, dapat alam mo yung equivalent. Constant equivalent ng mga factors. Converse factors. One hour. How many minutes? You have 60 minutes. One minute, 
you have 60 seconds. So, yan lang. Ito yung gagamitin natin conversion factors. Para makonvert po natin yung 365 days to seconds. So, dito na po tayo. 365 days. For every one day, one day, meron kang 24 hours times for every one hour ulit yung hour meron kang 60 minutes sir, bakit po nilagay mo dito yung hour your aim kasi is makansel out to. your aim is makansel out yung days kaya yung factors na gagamitin mo you will see to it na makakansel out ng unit na undesired units kaya gano'n lang pwede kang magcancel ng units kapag nagpidivide ka okay? kapag nagpidivide ka kasi pag nagmumultiply nadudobot yung unit magiging days work ngayon ito na lang, cancel out na natin yung hours yung minutes na yung problema po natin we need to convert minutes to seconds so for every one minute equivalent to 60 seconds so that is equivalent to but, ah, pwede natin cancel out ito minutes ang natira na lang ng unit measure is seconds so syempre operation Multiply 365 times 24 times 60 uh, 365 times 24 divided by 1 times 60 divided by 1 times 60 Okay? 365 times 24 Ano yung sagot mo? Hmm? So, ang sagot mo dyan Tapos, ang unit measure is second. So, what is 365 times 24? Okay? Okay. That is 31,000 or 31 million 536,000 seconds. That is 365 days or 31 million 536,000 seconds. Okay? Paano po natin isusulat ito into scientific notation? Again, we will move the decimal point where since ito po ay no number, not a decimal number, we will move the decimal point from right to left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, 7 times you move. Therefore, that is 3.1536 times 10 to the power of 7 positive. Kapag ang decimal point, you move it to the left, your exponent is positive exponent. So, bring down your unit measure seconds. Okay, this is now your scientific notation. So, as what I've said, we are dealing with large, very large number, like this number. Let us have last example na lang. Let us have, we, let us have a very small number na Okay, magkaroon na naman po tayo ng example ng napakaliit na number. So, what if you are asked to convert pen grams to pounds? How many uh, pounds are there in 10 grams? How many pounds are there in 10 grams? 
Magandang kaya yun. So, ayun, ano yung mga unit? Anong physical quantity ang pinag-uusapan po natin dito? We are dealing with mass. Bakit po nasabing mass? Kasi yung grams is a unit measure of mass. Okay? So, ano yung mga unit conversion factors na gagamitin po natin dito? 1 pound LPS is equivalent to 2.2 Or 1 kilogram rather is equivalent to 2.2 pounds. Okay? Tapos, 1 kilogram is equal to 1,000 grams. Okay? Yan lang. Let's convert. Times up. 10 grams times for every Ngayon, ang kailangan mo i-cancel out is grams para maging pounds. So, for every 1 kilogram, meron kang 1,000 grams times. Okay, pwede mo na makancel out. Yung kilogram, ang natirang unit, kailangan mo i-convert to pounds. For every 1 kilogram, meron kang 2.2 Pounds. So 10 times 1 divided by 1,000. 10 divided by 1,000. So meron, meron kasi nga nung dito eh. Meron conversion. Sa susunod ito turo ko. So pag 10 divided by 1,000, that is equal to 0. Up, 0 0.01 point zero one times two point two pounds is equal to point zero two two okay pounds pwede rin po natin gamitan ito ng scientific notation so papakita ko lang yung so, isi-separate ko lang dito ha. Kasi we are dealing with a very small number. So, gawin mo itong scientific notation. 1 times 10. 1. Times. Ah. Divide. 1 times 10. 1. Divide. 1 times 10. 3. That is 1 times 10, 1 minus 3, negative 2. Okay? Tapos, 1 times 10, negative 2. Times 2.2. 2. .2. 2 is equal to 0 0.22 pounds Okay? So, paano mong gagawin scientific notation yan? You will move the decimal point from here up to here. 1, 2 Kasi ito magiging 1 times 2.2 is 2.2 .2 times 10 negative 2 pounds. Okay? Ito pag minute mo, 1, 2 hanggang dito sa may... Dapat kasi meron kang nag-isang home number sa left side bago ang decimal place or point. Kaya you have 2.2, .2, ilang beses ka nag-move times 10 in rotation mo. Since you move left to right, your decimal point is negative 2. LPS. So, ito na ngayon yung 10 grams is equivalent to 2.2 times 10 to the power of negative 2 pounds or 0. Point, uh, 0.022 pounds. Ito po yung scientific notation. 
So kung scientific notation naman po yung gagamitin mo sa solve, pag sa solve, pwede rin po. Okay? So much for the huwag na natin habain, pero bibigyan ko kayo ng task for this. Kayo naman yung magsusolve. One year. So number one. One year. How many minutes? Ah. Number two. One centimeter. How much? How many? I mean, I think ten centimeter. How many? Kilometers. Okay. So write down your answer on the comment section. At kung bago ka sa channel na ito, pag mong kalimutan mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell button para updated ka sa mga susunod na video lesson ni Sir Pax about General Physics 1. At para naman sa iba po nating mga students, grade 11 students, available din po yung physical science or yung life science magkakaroon din po tayo ng DRR Disaster Risk Reduction at bukod po doon available po dito sa channel ng Sir Fox yung Mathematics for Grade 8. Maraming pong salamat Happy Learning everyone Tandaan ang pagbabasa ang panunood ay nakakapagpa-tanyo. Happy learning everyone!